Hello my loves, welcome to my channel, I'm Chrissy the Medium and today I wanted to do a part two from my first video. If you have not seen it, go to my channel, I'll put the link in the comment section to part one on Missing Hannah Kobayashi. If you're unaware of this case, Hannah Kobayashi was supposed to meet up with her family in New York City. She is from Hawaii and she took a flight to LAX to connect to go to New York City. And unfortunately, she did not get on that plane. The last time her phone was pinged was on November 11th. Her family has not heard from her. They have not seen her, spoken to her. So she has been missing since November 11th and just recently unfortunately her father has passed away um it was ruled that if he unalived himself um and that i also have another video if you have not checked it out go check that out today i wanted to do a reading on the knight of wands if you don't know what i'm talking about in part one, I did a reading for Hannah and I kept picking up a male surrounding her or a male that was influencing her for her currently missing right now. Um, so I wanted to do a part two on that specific male energy, which was represented as the Knight of Wands in part one. So before we get started, this is just my psychic impressions. I am just reading energy. This is not factual. Please do your own research and everyone is innocent until proven guilty. So let me shuffle a couple of times with my deck and I'll be right back. All right, so I took a moment to meditate and to shuffle my cards and let's see what comes out here. So first we have the Queen of Swords. We have the Ten of Swords in the reverse position. So two swords are coming out. Ooh, Page of Swords in the reverse position. Another Swords card. We have the Page of Wands in the reverse position. Now this is going to be the center of the reading. The Four of Wands. Okay. Then we have the Father. Okay, the Father or the Emperor card. We have the Chariot. We have the Justice card in the reverse position. And we have the Six of Swords in the upright position. Another sword card. Overall energy is the Seven of Cups in the reverse position. Okay, so let me take a look at the cards that we just pulled out. And let me see what I can pick up. All right, so I took a second to look at the cards here. And let's start with the Four of Wands. Four of Wands is a card of union coming together. Um, it is also representing a home, a property, okay? So here as the center of the reading... Once again, I feel that this male energy is has something to do with her disappearance, okay? It seems that there is a union of coming together. Um, there is a meeting. There is... Um, and it seems that he has brought her to a home or to a place where um, it's a community of people coming together. Okay, now in this spread, he is being represented as the Emperor or the Father card in this deck. The Emperor is a fire card. It represents Aries, which is a fire sign. Once again, he is being represented as a fire sign, fire energy, which is someone who is responsible of taking action, action, control, movement, 
passion. That is that fire energy. Okay. And here, this male energy is represented by the emperor. The emperor is somebody who wants to control. He represents law and order. He demands, he controls a situation. So here he is controlling two individuals, him and a woman. Here we have in this card, if you look at this card really well, you see a male and a female and they're in the woods. They're together. They're celebrating. There's a union here. Okay. So here we have this male influencing her to go to this location or promising her or influencing her to go here. And she does speak about in a message saying that she wants to go to the Red Woods. And here in the center of the reading, we have trees surrounding a male and a female. Okay. Now, she is being represented as the queen. She is being represented as the queen of swords. The queen of swords is somebody who wants justice and she will speak about it. Now, what I am seeing the theme of this spread is I'm seeing swords. Queen of swords, ten of swords, page of swords, six of swords. That is four sword cards that we have here in this spread. Swords are the mind. So what is the theme of this spread? Majority of it has to do with the mind. This individual is not only controlling where she is going, but is controlling her mind, the way she is thinking, influencing her the way she thinks. The emperor is connected to the page of swords in the reverse position. When the page of swords is in the reverse position, here you have somebody playing mind games, okay? And underneath the emperor, so this was on top, and underneath it we have the six of swords, another sword, the mind. But the six of swords is a card that talks about healing. It talks about a journey to heal. And the six of swords is, if you go diagonally, is connected to the queen of swords, okay? So here we have the queen of swords on a mind journey, on a mind healing journey with this emperor who has influenced her, not in the best way. This is mind games, manipulation. All right. And for some reason, I am picking up here that... And I'm not saying that this is true. Remember, people can be brainwashed into thinking into things. And to me, it seems like here, the Queen of Swords, uh, which represents Hannah here, it seems that she is overcoming something. Overcoming and she is now being saved. Okay, because here the Queen of Swords is connected to the second card that came out, which is the Ten of Swords in the reverse position. When the Ten of Swords is in the reverse position, you have these swords coming off. You are being saved. So here she is believing that she is being saved. Saved from where she was. Saved from the people in her lives. Okay, maybe they... Maybe this person is like um, gaslighting her into believing that, oh, those people are evil. They're evil. They've kept you in this world, this world, this evil world. But now you're being saved. You are coming to this location because you are going to be saved and you are going to be healing from this location. You have the six of wands connecting to the four of wands. You are healing to this location, also, what these cards are also telling me is that I see her moving, physically moving, okay? Here we have two cards that are connected to her. The Queen of Swords is connected to the Chariot, which is connected to the Six of Swords here. These two cards represent 
moving, going to a location. There is a destination. There is an objection here that you are going. And you're also overcoming things here. You're overcoming a challenge and you're overcoming here to heal. Okay. So here we have two cards representing her going to a location here, which is also connected to the emperor. Okay, who is also traveling and, and helping her get to this location so that she can heal, quote unquote. Okay, but I am seeing that in between these two cards, you have the justice card in the reverse, which represents something that is illegal, something that is wrong, something that is an imbalance, something that is not fair. Okay, so I do feel that wherever she is going, it's not what it seems. It's not what it seems here. Now, the overall energy is the seven of cups in reverse, which is feeling limited. There's lack of choices. There's lack of options. Okay. This male is making her feel that you have no other choice. This is the only way. This is the way, right? This is the way. This is the only way. So here we have the emperor influencing her. Influencing her, influencing her choices. Now I want to pull a card and see what comes up here. So let's pull a card. Hmm. Why don't we go with the emperor here? Let's let's clarify the emperor's spirit angel. Guys, clarify the emperor. One, two. So the emperor is being clarified by the three of cups in the reverse position. This is a friend of me right here. This is a friend of me. Who is this friend of me here? This is someone that she she has spoken to before. Um, okay, this is um she must have known this person. Why is this person um being fake to her? This is a person who is mm -mm, not influencing her in the right way. And I'm also seeing the five of cups here, which is a sense of loss, a sense of lack. This person is a friend of me who has taken from her. They have taken from her. Pentacles, five of pentacles here. Pentacles is money, okay? Taken her from her family, taken her from her friends, taken her, her funds, like she was speaking about. So the four of wands is clarified by the knight of pentacles. The knight of pentacles is somebody who over promises and they will not go through with their promise. This Knight of Pentacles in reverse is promising her a celebration, a union, going to a location, but they're breaking their promise, okay? So let's clarify, let's see, let's clarify, clarify the chariot. One, two, and three. The chariot, the queen of wands in the reverse position. She doesn't seem motivated to move forward here. It seems like initially she has spoken with this male to go somewhere to do something. And that got her in. That got her in the door, which is what this, this ember wanted. And he got control, right? He's a, he is a friend of me here. He got her in. And then it seems like at one point she's saying, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. But what happens is that she's in too deep. She's in too deep. So I don't think that where she is currently right now is a place that she wants to be. I think she was promised something 
they were talking about how wonderful this place is, how she should be going here. This is an awesome place for her to heal. And they broke their promise. They probably ended up not going to the place she thought she was going to go. Maybe. Right? Because here she is, does not want to go. She does not want to go. The Queen of Wands is not. She she does not have the energy, the passion to travel somewhere, to go somewhere here. Okay. Let's clarify the Six of Swords. Clarify the Six of Swords. One, two, and three. The star, yeah. Yeah, the star here. Six star is another card of healing. It's a card of having hope, having faith, okay? So I do believe, I'm telling you this, and the star's connected to the emperor here. This emperor was giving her hope was giving her hope, was giving her healing, but it was just, it was all a lie. It was all fake. It's all an illusion. It's not the truth. No. She thought it was an opportunity, an amazing opportunity. I get to meet people. I get to um, go on this amazing journey in my life. This is going to be a great experience. But then here, this male energy, whoever this male is, he is responsible for her disappearing. He told her what she needs to hear to get her in. Once she is in, she is trapped. She is trapped in this situation. She is trapped with this, she is trapped with this mentality. All right, so let's clarify. Let's clarify the justice card in the reverse position. One, two, and three. The four of cups. Whoa, this talks about taking an opportunity, but it turning out to be an imbalance, something that was not fair. Um, I feel, oh, look at that. We have the rebirth card, judgment card. Judgment card and the justice card, when those two cards come together, that is something illegal. That is the legal system, the justice system, okay? Here we have another card. I have the five of cups. The seven of pentacles, the three of wands here. And you know what's crazy? Look, let me show you. The judgment card was here and right underneath the judgment card, who do we have coming up? The knight of wands in the reverse position. Okay. Here is the judgment card, a rebirth, a second chance, taking an opportunity. This individual has made her feel that she has no choice, but she has to do this journey. She has to do this healing um, because it's going to give her a second opportunity in life, a second opportunity in, in, in being able to start over in life. Okay, I feel that he has convinced her that she has done something wrong or she was doing something wrong in the past and that now she has been saved. Now she's in the right place. Now she's good, okay? But I don't think that she thinks that. I don't think that she thinks. I think a part of her feels like, uh-oh, maybe I made a wrong judgment call. Maybe I'm not in the right, in the wrong location, okay? Let me clarify the Ten of Swords in the reverse position. Clarify the Ten of Swords. One, two... Three. The tower card in the reverse position. 
is connected to the Ten of Swords. Here we have being saved. You are rebuilding a tower that has fallen. When it's in the reverse position, you are rebuilding something. Rebuilding a foundation. Rebuilding something that has fallen. Okay. And let me clarify the Queen of Swords here. Clarify the Queen of Swords. One. Two. And three. The Eight of Swords wanting to break free. Swords. The mind. The mind. Here we have the Queen of Swords. What I am doing is the right thing. Because I am breaking free. I am breaking free. This is what he has made her believe. Or has influenced her to believe this. But it's it's not true. It's not true. It is fake. It is all fake. It's all an illusion here. No. Let me let me just clarify the eight of swords. Clarify the eight of swords in the reverse position. One, two. And three. And then I want to clarify the emperor here. The two of pentacles. Yeah. You are being saved from an imbalance. Okay. The two of pentacles is in the reverse position. They feel that they have no choice. They feel they can't. They are overwhelmed with what has been going on in their life. So now they are breaking free. Now I will bring balance into my life. But no. Clarify the emperor here. Clarify the emperor. One, two, and three. Okay. The emperor is clarifying by the devil card in the reverse position. Oh, mighty. He is the savior. He is going to help me with all the bad things that I have done. Um, when it's in the reverse position, here you have somebody gaining control over something that you have done bad. Okay, he is telling her, listen, you are doing the right thing. You are going to be saved. You're going to be healed from all the bad things you have done, all the bad things you thought about. You are going to regain control over that. Okay. <laughs> Next to the devil card, look what wanted to come out. The death card, which is also a rebirth card. It is the death of the old and a rebirth of something new. And here we have the rebirth here with the death card, a transformation, right? You are regaining power and you are letting go of your past life. He is, this person has brainwash. Allegedly, this is what it feels or has led her to a location where she is being brainwashed because she feels like she needs to let go of her old past, let it go, shed and now you are regaining control. You are starting new. You are doing, you are having a rebirth in your life. Okay. So I see that this male individual has a lot of influence in her, not just physically, but it seems like emotionally has taken control over the situation as well. All right, my love. So this is what I am picking up for this male energy or this Knight of Wands in the first part. Thank you for watching and please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time.